Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and we are going to be jumping right into the UFO updates for March 2024. So, I have kind of made a mess out of my basket. I am, okay, so I'm probably going to say this in every video that I film today. I am filming three or four videos today. I have no idea what order they're going to go up in. I have no idea how to like expect or plan for these to be going out just because I'm trying to film what I, I have ready to film and I'm also trying to like film what I need out of like my dining room area and stuff so anyway today we're doing a UFO update I've got my yarn 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 shirt on this was a, a Christmas gift I bought myself this year It is 9 a.m., so I am still drinking coffee, and I am not ashamed of that one little bit. So, UFO updates. So, first off, okay, so I decided I was going to work on my mint green knit baby blanket, my pink lemon peel blanket, and then I had two pairs of socks that were in a pouch together that are being done two at a time. One is fingering weight, and one is, like, DK Sport weight. I didn't touch the socks at all. They're still sitting downstairs on my desk and I just, I didn't touch them at all. However, I did finish the mint green blanket. I did not take it back downstairs. So I don't think I woven any of the, yeah, I still haven't woven in the ends on this, but I was 50% done with the blanket. I had just turned the corner when I shared it with you guys saying that I was going to like the introduction of what UFOs I was going to be focusing on, uh, that whatever that introduction was. So I can't remember if I shared this in February's UFO or yeah, February's UFO video or not. I'm not sure how, like this may be like April update instead of March update. I'm not really sure how I titled the first UFO monthly update. So anyway, we're going to, that'll work itself out in the title down below. Just FYI, but I can't tell if I can't remember if I shared that I had finished this or not. My first update with you guys. So this is where I was. This has worked on the bias. So I was, I had just turned the corner right before I put it down in 2019. My first update, I was down here and then I finished the rest of this. A lot of it while watching Resident Alien. We're totally caught up now. I still love the squid baby. That's all I'm going to say. I still love the squid baby. It is very much old school sci-fi channel show. So like if you ever watch like Eureka or Warehouse 13, those kinds of things, it's very much in that quirky, fun, a little absurd, touch of the absurd kind of way. So one, one UFO is now complete. I will take that. One UFO is now complete that I, I set out to specifically work on. I did finish my Arnie and Carlos stocking. So that was two out of 26 on my list. And I know there's more that aren't on my list. So I'm calling it two out of 26 as I find more and write them down and move them onto the list. I will like expound the other one, the pink baby blanket. So my pink baby blanket, I have about six inches left to go. So this is a much larger baby blanket. This is using a size I crochet hook. And I'm using, both of these were done doing Pound of Love, one in soft mint and one in soft pink. Or maybe this is just pink. They could just be mint and pink. I don't know. Let's look at the ball bands for another video. Pastel green and pink. So this is where I am. I have not decided if I'm going to do a border. One of the reasons why I love lemon peel stitch is the edge is very straight and doesn't normally have to have a border. But like if I decide I want to do something else with this, I might... 
might add myself a border. I also have plenty of white in the Pound of Love. Not that it's not, you know, super easy to obtain if I didn't. So I could come back around and do like a white border on this. I, I also have basics, but I'm worried that might be a little thicker. This is a finer worst of weight yarn. So when I first checked in with you guys, I was down here. Oh, no. I was down here about the same distance. So that's about all I have left to finish as well. Like that's about six inches. My first check-in, I had made it this far. And now I'm down to here. So you can see, came back to it, first check in and where I am. So I've worked about 10 inches. So I have about six left to go. So. And it's just, you know, single, double, single, double, double, single, single, or double, single, double, single. You put the single in the double and the double in the single. That's all it is. But it's a nice mindless project. I've been working on it in the car, but it's gotten to the point. Number one, we've been having highs in the 80s pretty consistently now. Like, not all the time, but more often. And it's kind of warm to work on this in the car now. So I think I need to move my car project away from this. This is also getting kind of large. I can't like walk around with it. I can't take it in places with me. And I prefer my car projects to be something I can actually take into a place with me. So if I get bored or I'm stuck in line, I can still work on it. So anyway, this is now an at-home project. I'll probably move this to the sofa like I did the green blanket. And as we watch TV, I'll put in a couple of rows every day and get that finished up by next month's check-in. Whatever I'm calling that. So, what I had set out to do originally and like kind of focus on, I set out four projects. I have completed one, almost done with another, haven't touched two others. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to pick from my UFO list things to focus on for the next month. And I, I'm just going to, you know, sometimes I'll keep the same projects. Sometimes I'll go ahead and let them chill out again for another month and I'll come back another month to work on finishing them. But I do want to make sure that I'm keeping these UFOs in my visible line of sight. So I actually pick them up and I actually work on them instead of forgetting them again. A lot of these aren't projects I hated. A lot of these are just projects I set aside because I didn't feel like working on them that day and then forgot about. They got hidden, part of them got hidden in moves. Like the green blanket, I started that right before we moved to Charlotte. The pink blanket, it seems like I started that and we had company over and it got like packed up in a bag and was in my closet and I never saw it again, so I never worked on it again. So anyway, and that's like two years old, three years old. The green blanket, like I said, is 2024. I started that in 2029. I started that Easter day, 2019. So here we are two days after Easter and it's completed. I, I'll take it. It took five years to knit that blanket, but I'll take it. It's done. I, I finished it a while back, but still. It shouldn't have taken me that long to finish a baby blanket. What are my new focus on projects? These are supposed to be my quick videos, and of course I... So, the projects I have decided to focus on, I'm going to keep working on the pink blanket because I'm this far from, well, this far from being done. I'm going to keep working on that. I'll put that in the living room. That way I see it. It's, it's also getting kind of cumbersome to work on it in the bed, so... It'll be a sofa project now or an at my desk when I'm editing because now I'm going to have like four videos to edit. Perfect time to work on it. My corner to corner bed blanket. I have two and a half rows left to put together or put on the blanket. I'll do another measurement check, but I think that's the right size. And then I just need to do like a simple border around it and it's done. It doesn't take me that long to add the squares. It takes me 45 minutes per square to add them on. But the problem is it's big and it's heavy and it's hard to manage it in my lap, especially with cats going in and out of my lap. So I've got to figure out where to work on it. I have all my blocks in a container and I'll take a picture of what it looks like right now sitting on our love seat. That's where it's been hanging out because 
but under that pile is a box that has all of my squares in order of how I want them to go in the blanket. I did go through and I ordered everything out. I do have more squares in my bag, but that's not what I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with getting through the stack that's under there. And it's about this tall. Like I said, it's two and a half rows. that's our neighbor making sure our lawn company didn't come again because anyway that's project number one I want to focus on I don't have that far to go on it I can do it I just need to set aside time to like I want to do one block a day or two blocks a day do it the next project I want to work on, I did bring up with me, and this is my brick sweater. So this is the sweater I started in 2013 for the sweater make along with Olivia and Shannon and Ella and Connie. With the move, I never finished the sweater. With the move, it just got like put in the corner. And I'm really mad because this sweater is so cute. I really wish I had had it for the winter. But all I have to do is put sleeves in. That's it. And weave in ends and stuff, but... But if you guys have been around, you will remember the drama of making it. I do still have my original cast on that did not go very well. But, you know, I, I finished the body. I had everything ready to go. All I needed to do was put in the sleeves. And I never got the sleeves put in. Uh, part of it is I, I was missing my size 7 16-inch knitting needles. But that's still not really an excuse at this point. This should have been done. This should have been finished. This should have been ready to go. In my bag, let's see what all's in here now. I've got a 32 inch US 8, a 16 inch 6, and a 24 inch 7. So I do need to double check my notes and see like what the, the, the base fabric was being. I think it was a 7, but I do need to double check and make sure. I have my stitch markers. I have a bunch of yarn in here. I would also like to reclaim my um, knitting barber cables out of this project. So yeah, that will be my next to focus on. And it really shouldn't take long because like I said, while I was working on this as an active part of the make along, I either want to do three quarter length sleeves or bracelet length sleeves. I don't like full length sleeves because I'm constantly pulling them up. The only way I like full length sleeves is if they come all the way down my hand with the thumb hole because the millennial in me. Plus it's just comfortable. It keeps your sleeve down. Um, I don't know. I know that's kind of weird. That's like a very specific thing, but like anyway. Put the pattern back with it maybe but this is the brick uh, brick sweater pattern I'll leave a link in the description box down below definitely definitely want to get this finished so I can wear it next winter I will have to try it on I don't think I've lost any weight since I made it but I do want to make sure I have my body shape hasn't changed that much last time I tried to make a sweater out of that yarn I went from like 250 to 220. Got about to the same place where it was putting in the sleeves. Tabled it for until the next winter and the it just like ate me alive. So I mean it's a good for me, but it's also kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, I did pull another project because I knew the brick sweater. If I was serious about this, it'd be done pretty quickly. I need to fix my Escherite shawl or cowl. This was using, this was the last month of the Arkansas Yarn Company review. Two rows back, I made a boo-boo. And my, my stitches no longer line up. So this is what that looks like. It's a Yarn overs that go down into the point there. Absolutely, be just, be just, absolutely beautiful yarn. 
I love how this yarn is working up in this pattern, but I do need to tink back. Well, I think I need to frog to my waist yarn, take that out, and then tink back because I think I screwed up the previous row. So anyway, I, I've got a lot to do to fix this. Um, that's why I haven't worked on it because it takes brain power and I just haven't wanted to use brain powers. But I would like to get this finished. This was something I was working on over the summer of 2023. And I just never came back to it once I realized I made a mistake because I knew it was going to take a lot of effort to do that. I could also just frog and start over. I mean, depending on how much I think it's going to take me to think to, pull, to tink at this point. Uh, I do hate taking out, tinking back textured stitches. So that is a problem for me, but that's a me thing. But anyway, that is the other project. I either need to frog it or I need to fix it. That I, I have to, I have this month to make that choice, frog it or fix it. And I will also leave a link for the Escherite cowl down below. It's a beautiful pattern. I'm really loving how it's working up, but Carrie made a boo-boo and I need to fix it. And I made extra boo-boos by not putting in extra lifelines. So I had 26 UFOs at the beginning of the year. UFOs or whips from not 2024. Of those 26, I have completed two, two out of 26, which is really not that bad. Like I said, I do know I have other projects somewhere around here. I will add those to the list. So as we do these check-ins, that may turn to like four and 30, four out of 30 projects, but that's tomorrow's problem. I counted 26 this morning that I am aware of that were in my journal when I started this year. Plus two. Because <laughs> oddly enough, the two I finished were not on the original list. So I have the Arnie and Carlos uh, stocking finish. That was one. And then the green blanket, which was a true UFO, not a ling languishing whip. So that's where we are. Two out of 26 are completed. I still have 24 projects left to go this year. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Let me know in the comment section down below what have you been doing with your UFOs. I know a number of you guys had said that you had some that you were revisiting. So let me know how many you frogged, how many you finished, how many you've actually been working on. What do you think is going to happen with this? I don't, I don't know how to expect how mine's going to end up going, so I would love to hear how yours is going. Also, if you want to, you can come to the Facebook group and share your works in progress, your whips, your UFOs, and let us know there how it's going and get like input and conversation and share pictures. So I love seeing your pictures. I'm not super active on the Facebook group, but I am trying to do better at being more active on my socials. I go through phases where I'm really active on them and then I just kind of fall off, but come to, uh, make sure if you are not a member yet and you are asking to join the group that you answer all of the questions. I am very particular about making sure that it is not spammy people joining the Facebook group, but anyway, I love you guys and I will see y'all real soon. Bye guys. <laughs>